Gavin. Huge win and a, a grind it out type of victory. Just how did this win show that this team's ready for the playoffs? Not there yet, but I thought a fantastic performance on, on both sides of the ball for us. I thought we were much better with the ball than we've been in the, in the last few games. We were able to buy ourselves time. We know how, how good of a team New Mexico is, and you know you're not going to be able to get to the match without having to, to defend and, and hold on for a bit. But I thought we were you know, as complete of a performance as this we put in in the last you know, two months or so. So for us, a, a great, great points to build on. Great three points to build on. Yeah. Seven weeks without a loss, wins against the top western side, top eastern side. Just what does that say about this team? It says that we are very, very capable. We know, you know, we, we think we can play with anybody. We know we can play with anybody. You know, it's going to be about continuing to, to find new things and put things together. But you've seen them the ability to defend, but the group's ability to bounce back and, and you know, come through some tough results and, and regroup. So, uh, you know, I think we're getting it. Um, it's an early kickoff time, kind of uncharacteristically at home. Can you talk into kind of the change in preparation and stuff that goes into starting the game early? It's weird. It's, it, it was. It's a bit weird. It's warm, obviously. Uh, the, the turnaround and being making sure they're refreshed, making sure guys get adjust their sleep and their, their day patterns is, is big. But other than that, you know, we it's just about kind of setting setting the hours and the clock for a few hours. But other than that, nothing different in terms of the preparation. It is a bit weird arriving to the stadium so early on, on a Saturday, though, we'll say that. The substitution in both sports today come back. Um, it's like having a player with just experience and you have to buy this time and all the great and stuff. But what's it like having a player like him? Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been big ever since he's got there. You know, the experience and his history and, and what he does and today. Fantastic for him to, to get off to, to get off um, on the, I guess, get off his start, you know, I thought, held up the ball for us, battled, and, you know, in the locker room, he's been good, just like everyone else. I think the, the guys in the, the group right now have really started to, to come together in terms of, uh, hey, the work rate, the effort, and the togetherness, you can see that all the way through. Rough travel schedule this month, well, uh, obviously your uh, um, location is uh, affected by that. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to, we'll have to rotate, we'll have to make sure that we adjust, we'll have to adjust how we how we train and prepare, obviously, with the travel, but, you know, it's, it's another, it's good to be able to do that off the back of three points, you get a chance to, to breathe, maybe get an extra day of rest, and then, you know, we have a, a, another big one next week, right, they don't stop. but important goal for him personally just what has he been showing you in training leading up to the, in the week here yeah you know he's just been working hard everything is, is maintaining and, and building up his fitness and his ability to repeat his turnability those things and then you know being able to get him off and give him the supplementary stuff that he needs to continue to, to grow and come back and so it's great to see him out again back today and hopefully we can continue to build on those and the play that he scored on you know it, it was came from a corner Scored from a corner, I think, the last three games after last year. I think there was one goal from a corner all season. And it was an X's and O's type of goal, you know, people playing in the, the space opening up for Dwyer. Just talk about the the play there and how you guys have taken steps on those set plays. To... Yeah, I think, I mean, you've seen it, uh, the execution, we talked a little bit about the execution, the movement, and the timing for, for the guys who has been ex excellent. Um, We've been able to, to create the spaces as well as get the spaces that we've wanted to in the, in the last three matches. You know, they've, they've been dialed in and you know, it's been huge. We've talked about it. Too. When, when games are tough, the ability to be threatening on set pieces can, can be the difference. And you know, we've been excellent there over the last three or four matches. Um, you guys won with just one shot on target today. Obviously, you'd like to generate more you know, chances than that, but you guys are really adept at winning these kind of games like this. What do you? What goes into the preparation, like mentally, to be prepared to, you know, win a game with just one late shot on target? Yeah, I mean, this this is a group that is is built to to suffer and, and fight for itself. You know, 
we, we want more than one shot on target for, for sure. Um, you know, but that being said, with, with our, our lack of creation over the last few games, I was much happier with our ability to get forward, pin them in, and, and get into their box. You know, definitely tough to build on going forward. So that's, that's what we'll say. So maybe step in terms of our, our much better ability to pass in this race. So we'll, we'll continue to push forward in the day. Um, uh, Lyndon Zeka didn't play again for the second straight week. Do we have any update on what uh, his fitness is like? No, no, just, just being cautious right now, and then you know, everybody will be available, I think, next year. Okay, and then um, there's a new signing. Uh, Jose Luis Tinastera has been training with you guys for a while now. What, uh, first of all, like, what do you guys, uh, what do you see in him that you're excited to like to see on the field? No, I mean, he's an explosive player. He's got great technique. He finds spaces really well. Um, he tells the player they can play in front or behind the lines. He likes to involve his teammates and he likes to work on both sides of the ball. So um, we're excited to, to get him into the group and hopefully he gets going real soon. It's a busy travel month, so it's going to be hard to incorporate him. But when do you think around we're going to be able to uh, see him in the team? Sooner than later, I hope. Okay. Good to go. Thanks, guys. Thanks.